Dartmouth I've court seen. rules in favor of a chick having hundred thousand dollars a month. That puts men off to a level. Like it's fine if there was a, a baseline child support, thousand dollars a month, two thousand dollars a month. That's if you have a kid, baseline, regardless of income. If your man wants to give you more, he does. If he yeah. doesn't, whatever, whatever. But when you come along, and start saying this percent of a man's income. Do you have any idea how scary that is to a man who works for his money? He works for his money. And you know why it's scary? It's not just because he's giving his money away. It's because he knows he isn't giving money to the kid. Yeah. The kid, you can raise a kid on 500 bucks a month in most of the world. Mm -hmm. You want that kid in Gucci, you in Gucci, you in a nice car going on dates with another dude with my money. You can, I'd rather burn the fucking house down than give, to give it to you under they those fucking circumstances. Yes, yes. Andrew Tate is on the money on that one, guys. I'm telling you. That's what happens. I mean, I, I had for me personally, I had to pay eight thousand dollars a month, and this is guys. I'm not even playing anymore. I'm like, what do they need eight thousand dollars a month? And this is after getting half. I got a mortgage payment, so everything that everything that uh, I had working with, I was basing off of a hole, and so I get the debt. Boom, I'm down to half. Like, whoa, my my debt uh, my debt to ratio all of a sudden went from ten percent to twenty percent. And that, man, it was scary. And you know what's really scary in all this stuff like Andrew Tate was talking about? Is the fact that you just don't know when is this, when is it, when is the bleeding going to stop? What else are they going to take from you? It's just, it's, it's just unknown. It's, it, and it causes you to lose weight. It causes you to be stressed out. I mean, it, I mean, bro, it literally makes you want, like what he was saying, it makes you want to burn the house down. Like, I get it. Like, I hope people don't do this stuff because there is a life better after divorce. But I can see why people want to go postal and just start shooting people and killing people. I get it. Like I can I, I like I under, like I, I don't judge that person and say, man, he didn't because it is it is it is that bad. It is really that bad. So maybe I was that guy that used to be hard on people who used to do that. Like, why do you have to do that? And boom, boom, boom. But when until you go through it and see how unfair and unjust it is. I mean, literally, my ex-wife is literally the guy that she's with, that she's married, they're living off of my money. Everything, the house that she has, the clothes on her back, my, what my children got or don't get, everything they got came from my sweat equity. And so it, it, it's, but hey, it's all gone. I'm moving on. But that's what he said is, is I, 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 mean, I don't know if Andrew Tate experienced divorce, but that is a true feeling that you get when uh, when you have to give all this money to the woman and you know it's not going to the to your sons or daughters that's it <laughs> <laughs> Holy.